Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. This video, I believe it's very important and I hope people will listen carefully. Uh, in this video, we will show you a very clear proofs that the Arabic the Muslim they speak about, you know, when Muslims they teach about Arabic, they start bragging about how, how, how amazing the Quran, the Quran is above the languages, uh, the Quran is uh, like nobody can make Quran like this book, which is very, very stupid by the way. Uh, because I mean the challenge like when when uh, when Allah in the Quran supposedly uh, make a challenge about making Quran uh, like this uh, so he said uh, to be something like it if you can but don't you find it it's very stupid that Allah is using my language and then he says to me bring me something like my book in other way if somebody writes songs today in English, in Arabic, it doesn't matter what language. And then he says to me, write a song like mine. That would be very funny because if I make a song like yours, you will say you are copying me. What about we ask the question, was Muhammad copying others? Even the Quran itself says in chapter 2 verse 106 that Allah he will write Quran better than his Quran. So what do you mean you challenge them to bring better Quran if you are yourself you are fighting with yourself about making Quran better than Quran. Allah will abrogate verses and he will make verses better than the verses he made. So Allah himself is in the competition of making better Quran. As you see with me. Why Allah want to do that? You see it? Verse 106. Allah will cause the Quran to be forgotten, but He will make something better or similar. Allah is making Quran better than the Quran. So we have Allah better than Allah. Because the first Allah who made the Quran first time, he was not doing it right. So the other Allah is going to make Quran better than the Quran which made by the first Allah. This is the most stupid statement ever I can hear. And Allah will destroy the Quran. Who will destroy the Quran? Because he will make you forget it. By what? By himself he will make you forget it. And he caused you to forget the Quran. So he will substitute something better or similar. So hold on. If you are going to make something better or similar or similar, are you sure it is similar or better? So why you are making me forgetting the Quran anyway? The reason for this verse to come because Muhammad cannot recite the Quran twice at the same time. This is why Muhammad, he said each time he recited, he it come differently. The same verse. So they said to him, this is not, not how you, saw, you, you said the Quran to us before. He said, Allah, he sent me the Quran down in seven dialect. Seven or seven letters. What do you mean seven letters? Why Allah want to send the Quran in seven dialect? According to Muhammad, Allah sent the Quran in seven dialect for a very simple reason. Because the Arab, you know, will not understand with one dialect. Why the Arab will not understand with one dialect if the Quran is so clear as we saw. The Quran said, we showed you, you know, like the Quran said it clearly. We sent the Quran in a clear tongue. Clear tongue. And that clear tongue is an Arabian tongue. And Allah, he says, why he sent the Quran in Arabian tongue? So, which means you may understand. So, the reason for Allah to send the Quran down in the Arabian tongue, so that you may you may understand, as we see in the front of us. All right. So, if Allah, He is doing His best to explain the Quran, and and then then you say to me make Quran like mine and Allah the target of his Quran number one target so they may understand 
then the question is, how come the Muslims cannot understand? How come the Arab can't understand? And how come the Muslims specifically cannot understand? Because if you go and read the interpretation of verses, you will see the Muslims how much confused they are about what verses mean. And actually even the Quran say clearly that this is a book no one knows what they mean. There's verses in the Quran. Nobody knows what they mean save Allah. Let us switch to Arabic. Hold on. Chapter 3, verse number 7. This is a book. is full of verses. Nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. Who is saying that? The Quran. But hold on. You just told me that you made the Quran in a pure Arabic so we, may, we might understand. And now you are saying to me that this book is full of verses nobody knows what they mean. Nobody knows. And no one knows save Allah except Allah. You see it? Read. There's part of the Quran and those and this part only the one who have sickness in their heart will follow. <laughs> That's funny. The Quran have two parts. One for the one have good part, good heart, and the one and part for the one who have a sick heart. Allah send in a book, the same book will deceive you and the same book will guide you. And how the Muslims will know, like I mean, how if I am a Muslim, God forbid, how I will know which one is the one will make me sick. If if you told me that this is a holy Quran and we send it for you, you so you may understand. How now I'm going to know which verses is the one who is talking about? He is saying nobody understand. Save Allah. He didn't say. He didn't say this verse, that verse, that chapter. He didn't say. He just said that this Quran have verses, have chapters, have part of it which nobody knows what they mean. The reason for Muhammad to come with this because simply Muhammad is fabricating a story that he's a prophet. They ask him, where, okay, what does this mean? He say, I don't know. Only Allah knows. You know, I, I wrote books. So imagine I write a book and then you ask me a question about my book and I don't know I don't know what I mean. What? Explain to us what you wrote here. I, I don't I do not know. Only Allah knows. What do you mean Allah only knows? What do you mean only Allah knows? So because he don't know we showed a verse before this one, the one he's saying that Allah will make better Quran or similar Quran to cover himself from lying when he cannot repeat the same verse twice in the same way. Then now we see him saying, well, you know what? The Quran have two part. Uh, one is a clear and one is not a clear and the one is not a clear simply uh, uh, will make many people uh, like uh, the only one who follow it is the one who is sick in their heart but I, I thought we should follow the whole Quran I thought the whole Quran is a book of the guidance and when the Quran insist uh, to be a clear Arabic and says I send it to you uh, uh, like in a clear Arabic have no crookedness in it and so you might understand and now we find that the Quran itself saying that there is verses nobody can understand what they mean <laughs> that does not make sense so when Allah challenged me to make Quran better than was Quran is he challenging me too to make verses nobody understand okay here we go this is a verse Shashu Shali Shabhasha Shashushu no one understand what I said, save Allah. Prove that your Quran is better than my Quran. Do you have any proof? It's very naive, it's very stupid. And you know, remember the Quran, when the Quran challenged to bring Quran uh, better than this, it's a stupid challenge. Why? Because if you remember, uh, Muhammad, he received satanic verses. 
And Muhammad himself did not notice that this is from Satan until supposed a few days after the angel Jibreel came to him and he said to him Habibi Muhammad the Quran you received last week it was not from Allah it was from Shaitan so even Muhammad himself did not notice but yet Allah is challenging Arab to make Quran better than Quran so how come Muhammad did not notice that this is satanic verses and Allah is saying he is going to delete those satanic verses you see it Allah is saying we never sent a messenger or a prophet before thee but when he recited supposedly the message of Allah Satan Shaitan, he put things in his tongue okay hold on how Muhammad did not notice that this is from Shaitan and how Muhammad was under the control of Shaitan and how Allah allowed the Shaitan to put words in the mouth of Muhammad and how Allah allowed Shaitan to prophesy in the mouth and the tongue of his prophets so Muhammad to cover his madness because simply what he did in this occasion he worshipped the three daughters of Allah and he bowed down to them so the pagan in, 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 in Mecca they said mashallah uh, uh, Muhammad he worship our gods and he bowed down and they bowed down with him and later Muhammad noticed the news that travel all the way far from what he thought he thought he's only praying with the pagans and nobody around he's being hypocrite to them it reached out to everybody so Muhammad have to cover his 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 lie so what he said oh shaitan he put it in my mouth and if you remember the Quran say clearly that shaitan have no authority over the good believers only only the bad one shaitan can affect them chapter 15 verse number 42 it says it clearly that Allah he said to the shaitan you have no authority over my followers except those who follow thee you see it you have no authority over my followers who, who is talking Allah Allah said said to who to shaitan satan certainly you shall have no authority over my slaves but then okay how 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 the shaitan was able then to uh, 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 to control muhammad and and throw words in his mouth and throw quran his word in his mouth not only muhammad did not notice but this is a contradiction for this story here if you are if allah said nobody have authority over my followers that means shaitan cannot affect the muslims how about Muhammad the prophet of the Muslims the best man of the Muslims how shaitan was able to control him add to this that we found in the story and the hadith that Muhammad was under black magic which means was controlled by the devil so it's a madness now when uh, 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 you know uh, uh, we spoke about uh, uh, like many things in here and there's tons of contradiction but the more the more important issue uh, like there is a story of uh, in the hadith let me show you like if we go back to the story of the seven letters let us see if we can open There is two guys, two Muslims. They were fighting over how the verse, they are reciting the same verse. And but each one of them uh, you know, is saying it differently. So they were like confused what you are saying it must be wrong. I heard the prophet saying it in a different way. Uh, Muhammad uh, uh, you know the, the news reached to Muhammad they brought him to the to to, to Muhammad uh, to to the, to judge between them so Muhammad he said okay you recite it for me I'm trying to find the hadith the story so you can see it 
Uh, you recite the story for me. The guy, he recited the story. Uh, and then he said to the other one, okay, you recite it now. And then the guy, he recited. But they are reciting the same verse differently. But Muhammad, he, first, he told the first one, okay, recite it. He said, okay, rah, 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 he recites. So he said, oh, this is how it came. Then he asked the other guy, recite it. He recited, but it's, but it's different. Muhammad, he said, okay, this is how it came. <laughs> and then he continues saying, this Quran sent down in seven letters. And this is a proof that at that point, nobody, nobody ever heard such a thing, which means Muhammad never shared. Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. Who is talking to him? Jibreel. Jibreel, Jibreel, the angel, the delivery guy. So he ordered you to recite the Quran in one dialect. All right, sound good. And then upon, upon this, he said, which means Muhammad, I ask Allah burden for unforgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. What do you mean capable of doing it? What, what do you mean? He mean they cannot understand it in one dialect. My people cannot understand it in one dialect. But hold on. People of Quraysh, how many dialects they have? It's a small village. It's a small, tiny village. It's not even a city. What do you mean will not understand it? Somebody might say to me, well, the Quran was not sent to a village. You are wrong. In the Quran it says that this is a book sent for people for Mecca and what is around it. Very local. Huh? Here we go. Let me show you. Because you know Muslim, they might say, oh, the Quran was sent for everybody. It doesn't say that in the Quran. The Quran says that this is for a small village, the mother of the village, and what is around it. Very local. Very, very local. <clears throat> Chapter 6, verse number 92. He sent it to where? Read with me. And this is a book which we have sent, bringing the blessing and confirming what was before it, actually, not what we came before it. This is a wrong translation, false translation. What was actually, what was in his hand, between his hand. And uh, to the mother of the cities and what is around it. What is our cities? It doesn't say. It says Ummul Qura. Al Qura is a village. The mother of the villages, villages, and that is Mecca, and what is around it. This is what the book is sent for. Muhammad's dream was very little, tiny, to, to Mecca and what is around it. Those Bedouin around. Not the whole world. Okay, so now why Muhammad, he want seven dialect? Because his people, they cannot understand it in one dialect. Why? So, he asked Allah for burden and forgiveness because his people cannot do it. Alright? I ask Allah, forgiveness and he asked him to send me they cannot do it with one dialect and look look i look like allah he do not know and he's taking the advice from muhammad muhammad told him my people cannot do it one dialect what are you talking about there is no way so allah he listened to the advice of muhammad and then he come with the second one and then jibreel he said to him allah sent command you that you should recite the quran to your people in two dialect Okay, sound good now. Well, Muhammad is still not, not happy. So, Muhammad, he asked Allah to send Quran, more Quran, in seven dialect. He want one more dialect. Still, my people are not capable. Do you see it? My people will not be able to do so. Why? What do you mean my, my people not able to? The Quran says this is Arabic, this is a clear language, etc. Still, Muhammad saying and, and, and insisting my people are not able to do it which means islam will not be good with one dialect islam will not be one two good with two dialect islam will not be good in three dialect all right 
So Jibreel, he came in the third time. Here we go, the delivery guy, delivery boy. And he said, okay, Allah, he command you to recite the Quran in the three dialect. Well, wonderful. Things is getting better. So Muhammad, he have a three dialect now. Well, still Muhammad isn't happy. He is complaining. So Muhammad, he asked Allah to send more dialect. He said, I ask burden for Allah. My people would not be able to do it. What? Even with the three Qurans and the Quran, each one of them recited in different ways, still the Muslim will not, will not understand? What's wrong with this uh, Quran? Must be really very, the, the writer is very bad. I changed, imagine I have my book, I write, the, I write my book over three times. In order you understand, instead they can't understand. So he asked, then he came to me, and uh, for the fourth time, and he said, okay, Allah commanded you to recite the Quran for your people with seven dialect. So in the fourth time, he got him four dialect in the same day? What? Because this is the fourth time. Already Muhammad, he got a three dialect, as you see with me here. Three. In the fourth time here, in the fourth, when he come to him, he gave him seven dialect, which means he gave him four more. In the same time, that's amazing prophet. And that's an amazing God. Say, uh, for, you know, like four pizza in the same delivery. Question, Muslims. As long Allah is God, why he don't send the Quran from the beginning in seven dialect? Don't you know that it's not going to work? This is number one. Number two. If the Quran is not enough in one dialect in, o in order to understand it, as you see, your prophet, he keeps saying, they cannot handle it. They cannot understand it. Y you see it? It's not me who's saying that. They would not be able to do it. Huh? He said that three times already. And he keep asking for more and more and more. All right. So, why Allah don't send from the beginning seven times and one more question which is going to be like uh, the, the the box in the head today we have only one dialect if the people of the little tiny village of Mecca they cannot understand the Quran in seven dialect how a Muslim from Afghanistan will understand the Quran in one dialect. Huh? It's obvious that Muhammad is nothing but a scam because he cannot recite the same verse twice in the same way. So each time he say it, it comes differently. So you know what? There is no way I'm going to recite it seven times in seven different way. You know, they will look similar and people will not understand. And now where we can find the seven dialect? I thought the Quran is preserved. I want to see the seven Qurans. I want to see the seven Quran. Any Muslim? We will stop in here and I will follow this with more video. Don't worry, we are not we did not stop teaching Arabic. I'm just giving you a break to show you the lies of Muhammad regarding what he claimed about the God sending him a book. The story in front of us proved to us that Allah is not a God and Jibreel is a pizza boy. He do what Muhammad he want and Allah he print more books and he changed the book up to, to, to the request of Muhammad with no explanation why. And then we find out that the seven Quran which Muhammad insists to send down, we don't have it no more. In the coming video, we will show you why the Quran is not an Arabic book. 
follow with us please and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you might understand from the Arab the secrets of the cult of Islam don't forget to read my books the deception of Allah Quran and science in depth and the secrets do prophet Arab in French if you speak a French you can find them in Amazon you will find the link underneath of the video you can search in Amazon for Christian Prince as you see it in the screen and you will find the list of my books in Amazon thank you very much and God bless